Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a Will They Reach Out Tarot Reading Session for you. This is for the sign of Taurus. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. What can I get for Taurus, please? Will their person of interest, significant person, or the person they're manifesting would reach out, please? This is for Taurus, friends. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. Okay? Here you go. Your first card, Taurus, is the Five of Wands in reverse. You've got here the Knight of Cups. You've got the Death card in reverse. You've got the Eight of Wands, okay? And then you've got here the Two of Pentacles. You've got here the Four of Cups. You've got here um, the Taurus card in reverse, okay? And the Six of Swords, okay? So for today, Taurus, I'm going to do um, two readings. One reading is for someone in the past. This could be an ex-person that you are manifesting or someone you have dated or you spend a lot of on and off getting to know each other or dating this person, okay? And then the second reading, Taurus, this is someone recent, okay? Or someone active, okay? Current, all right? So let's start your reading, beautiful friends. You could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, specifically a Scorpio, a Taurus, yourself, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you've got here Swords, which is Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? Let's start from the first reading here on top. So, um, will they reach out uh, towards you, Taurus? You've got here Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, okay? Um, I feel like it was a split, a breakup, but um, they want to cool off, okay? I feel like the Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups, your person, there's a possibility that they chicken out. They were, they were kind of coward. They stepped back. Um, they, they were scared of relationship because the Knight of Cups, they withdraw. And they step back. Or for some of you, they were overwhelmed and they don't want that overwhelmed thing. So they don't want to fight. They just withdraw. I feel like the five of wands, they, it's, um, it's a feeling of, I'm, I'm not going to resist. Okay. Cause five of wands, I don't want to fight. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any drama. Okay. So they, I don't feel like this person hesitated you. It's just that it's it's a very cool energy that I pick up with your person, okay? It's like, I don't want drama. I don't want possessiveness. I don't want any pressure. So I step back, okay? Um, I feel like oh, as well, the past energy be between the two of you is you're not at the same page. So this person, um, they step back. Or it's a sur they surrender like uh, okay I'm I'm gonna retrieve I'm not gonna develop my feelings to you because we're not at the same page. My priority is this, and your priority is this, and we clash. So there was a clash between the two of you in the past. Something that um something that they say like look I'm not prepared. You're not prepared, so I'm gonna give up. Okay, they give up. They withdraw. They did not went on further to you. Okay, because they know it's just gonna stress them. It's just going to cause more stress or something. So they just withdraw, give up, surrender with the Knight of Cups. And then fast forward, they regret that now. Okay. Um, they, you know, because the, the death card is in reverse. You know, it was untimely giving up. Your person, they realize that um, they have given up prematurely. Or for some of you, they would like to continue whatever they gave up. Okay, they have they want to have a quick access to you right away because eight of wands, this is a very interactive, a fast faced approach of communication. So this person, the energy they bring towards you is that they've prob possibly given up and they would like to have an access to you. Okay. It's a bit impulsive. Okay, it could be the cause of what's happening to the world. So I would really um more examine them carefully what they want because it could be bored boredom or it could be some sort of impulsiveness is attached with your person it's not bad there's still a feelings in here and passion because 
you know, eight of wands. This is passion, okay? So it's just maybe you don't want to end the same thing. You don't want to end the same ending in the past. So take it slow, know them carefully, and be take it slow. That's what I'm getting because eight of wands, it's a bit impulsive, it's a bit rush, it's a bit fast, that it might not reach its in full bloom. So the way you handle this person is handle it with care, slow, and take your time. Okay, because for some of you, this person made you wait. So take your time and enjoy the moment because it's it just getting juicier. You know, the, the more you, it's like sipping wine, the the, the slow, the, the more aged, the more it's flavorful. So take a moment, okay, and slow it a bit because it makes them more wanting you, okay? So that's the first reading. The second reading, guys, this is someone recent or it is an active connection. So you've got here two of pentacles and four of cups. So there's a little bit of hesitation between you and your person, okay? I feel like your person, they like you, they miss you, they're interested with you, but um, you are not their priority. You are, I'd say the second or the, I'd say in general, this person enjoys your company, uh, enjoys chatting, um, calling you or texting you. Um, I don't know how much physical um, thing you did with this person. You dated face-to-face -face or maybe you slept. I don't know. But I feel like they do consider you as a person of interest in terms of romantic. But you are um, not their... Romantic thing is not their priority. Okay? Um, romantic thing is like for consideration only. You haven't hit the bull's eye, okay? That's what I get with your person. Um, the Taurus card is in reverse. So I feel like for some of you, by the month of May, they would reach out. They will come back and clear things, clear the air. Uh, they have a lot of thoughts right now about you. They think of you um, and um, they think beautiful thoughts about you. Maybe for some of you, the third, the fourth, the main month is the time where this person will reach back or call back. But I feel like don't get so much upset or don't think too much bad of this person because it's as simple as that. I like you. I miss you. I want you. But, you know, the romantic thing is not my priority. So I'm going to put you at, at bay because this is in reverse. But I see them more prepared, more ready by the month of May. There's a possible for some of you, 30 to 40 percent will get some sort of communication or a follow up third, fourth of April. You know, this is an, some sort of an introduction that I'm coming back. The full throttle, full bloom of the connection, reconnection is pretty much around May. OK, uh, if if the if the follow up or text or, or call the end of April, if it gets hot you know, it, if it gets successful, then by the month of May, this could really be in full bloom, exclusive relationship, okay, or a very, a very in full bloom dating, okay, so there's something for you and this person to watch out, there's still a future between the two of you, okay, so this is you, this is your reading, um, thank you so much for tuning in, thanks for spending time with me, um, so guest viewers, again, I would really love for you guys to click subscribe, click the bell for my previous subscribers. Thank you, amazing friends, for the amazing support, for the live, for, for the love, for the attention, for stopping by. Wherever you are right now, guys, stay safe, be safe, and um, I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.